happy Sunday. It is Sunday, June 11th, and I ran to Aldi, and I went to Fresh Time, and I have a Thrive Box that I haven't even opened yet that I am going to show you all of that today on this video. So if you like grocery hauls, make sure you stick around for that. Um, I will do my Aldi first, then I'll do my Fresh Time because I need to get all of that cold stuff put away, and finally at the very end I will do my Thrive order. So... If you want to see that, um, you can either fast forward to the end. I do have a 40% off code for Thrive that I will drop here in the description. You can get 40% off of your first purchase at Thrive, which is a great deal if you've been looking at it. So I would say this is definitely not a stock up order by any means or haul by any means. This is just kind of groceries for the next week or two. I, of course, will need to go fill in, but the bulk of our produce will probably be in this grocery um, haul and then of course I fill in as needed and so I need to get my receipts though so I can tell you what I paid for stuff because people do like to see I am in Minnesota fresh time I think is probably like a natural grocers or things like that it is um, like a smaller version of Whole Foods they don't have everything that Whole Foods has um, they have some things that Whole Foods doesn't have, um, but that's kind of what Fresh Time is, so if you're not familiar with what that is. And then um, Aldi is Aldi. Everybody knows what Aldi is. Um, and then Thrive, of course, is the online ordering. So let me grab my receipts, and then we will get right into the Aldi haul. To start out, I will tell you total today at Aldi was $79.28. Sets. I did get a lot of organic produce. There are things that I did not buy organically because they didn't either, well, I guess because they didn't have it. I think anything I could get organically there, I did. I don't always because sometimes that is just not in the budget and so we do the, the best that we can. So first up is I got two cantaloupe. These were $2.49 a piece. I love cantaloupe. It was the candy brand. And that is what I often get at Costco. So, and I want to say it's like $6 usually for two of them at Costco. So $2.49 a piece, total of $4.98 for the two of them was a good deal. Then they had pineapple for $1.89. They are not huge pineapple, but they are a good size pineapple. So I got two of those. So things like that I will let sit on my counter for a few days and we will work through some of the things like the berries first and then we'll move on to those and then finally we do like our citrus and our apples last because those last the longest. I did not get apples today though. All right next up is organic celery hearts and that's right here. Does it say how much it is? How many? It does not. I don't think it says the weight. Anyways, organic celery hearts. And the reason why I got the hearts is because they did not have organic celery, only organic celery hearts. Um, this was $2.39. We are just in summer, so there's a lot more um, light meals, packed meals. So celery is a great summer food. And whatever we don't eat through before it starts to go bad, I will just chop up and freeze for soups and stews when it cools down again in the fall is they last for a really long time in the freezer. It's also really good in chicken broth. Okay, next up is a thing of organic bananas. So these bananas are 2.21 pounds at 0.72 a pound, so 72 cents a pound, $1.59. I think the organic bananas at Costco are a better deal, but I'm not at Costco and it's a half an hour drive, so. Um, next is organic strawberries, and I only got one. They were not super great looking. This was the best package I could find, so a one pound package for $2.99. Now at Fresh Time, they had conventional strawberries, two for three. So the same price for two packages. Um, I almost got some, but they just, they were huge, first of all, and I just was like, sometimes when they get that big, they aren't very flavorful. So that's what I mean, like I buy organically when I can, but I would have totally gotten those conventional ones because of the price because sometimes it's just about feeding your family and we just have to pray and give it to God and not worry about any pesticides or whatever else might be on it even organically grown produce right so that's why we bless our food before we eat it okay next is some organic cheese slices so this is something I also usually buy at Costco but again not going to Costco and we do a lot of sandwiches in the summertime and we grill burgers and things like that so I got two things of sliced cheese this is the white mild cheddar 
organic. And then this is the Colby Jack organic. The one at Costco of the Colby Jack is a little bit cleaner. This does have a natto, a natto for color, which I try to avoid dyes. Technically, is it a dye? It's kind of depends on where it's sourced from, so I'm not really sure. But um, these both were two dollars and thirty-five cents, and there are eight slices in each package. So this won't last us very long, but it will get us through until we can maybe get to Costco again. Okay, next up are Cookie Thins. These were all $2.99 a bag. And I have never had these before. I got the Key Lime. And they are not super clean, but for a packaged cookie, they're not terrible. The Chocolate Chip Cookie. And then finally, which I actually opened and ate in the car, <laughs> I ate some of them, are the lemon ones. They are super yummy. I wish I would have gotten more than one bag because I think these would be great for the beach. Um, again, not perfectly clean, but um, I do like that there are no hydrogenated oils. Peanut allergy friendly, I guess, that we are not a peanut-free home, but should you be one, no corn syrup, no artificial ingredients, and real chocolate. Um, so of course, obviously the lemon and the lime don't have chocolate, but so all this is a good place, um, to really start on a cleaner food journey. If you're looking, especially to eliminate food dyes and things like that, $2.99 a bag. Next is our Father's Day cards. And I love that Aldi has cards because they're so reasonable. They're $1.49 and you can go to the Dollar Tree and get them for $1.25 and I don't even think they're as cute as these are. So this one I got, so I don't have my dad anymore. He died, um, Jesus, I think it's like eight years, something like that. So sadly, I don't have a dad to buy for anymore. We do have, and my husband's father also passed away. He does have a stepdad, so we do get him a card. But I picked one up for my kids to give my husband and myself to give him. So this one is the one I'm giving him. So it's Happy Father's Day to the cheesiest. It's a bowl of mac and cheese. And then on the inside it says, here's to celebrating you and all of the positively awesome things you do. Then this one is for my kids to give my husband. Look at those cute shirts on it. It says, Dad, you're always up for a good time. We love you. Happy Father's Day. They're just really cute, cute cards. And they come with an envelope. And then this one's for my father-in-law. Cheers to you. Happy Father's Day. So they're not like the Hallmark kind of cards. If you want something that's like lovey-dovey, these aren't going to be it. But for, what I say, $1.49 a piece, we're good. We went a lot of years without even doing cards because I personally think they're kind of a waste of money. But that's fine. Okay, cards. Um, next up is a bag of avocados. So these ones, I think I just went with the conventional ones because they were quite a bit cheaper. And I know there's this whole new like appeal that you're looking for and avocados are a big one. I don't see that on these avocados. I don't see the appeal label, but it is a six count bag for $2.59. They are considered small avocados, which is perfect because if I'm cutting it up for us, or I'm putting it on toast, just the smaller ones are way better. And these are really firm, which is wonderful because that's exactly how I want them because I do have some other avocados in my fridge that need to be used up. So it's good when I can buy them and they're still really firm. All right, next is a bag of organic baby carrots. So this bag was $1.49 and it is a 16 ounce bag, so one pound. And we have got them from Costco, like the big bags, and it is a good deal, but I honestly, I think this might be a better deal than what we were getting them at Costco, and of course that could vary. So during the winter, I buy the big carrots because we use them soup stews, things like that, but for snacking, and this is just easier, I don't have to peel carrots and cut them for everyone, um, and when my kids want them, this is just so much easier. So we went ahead and got a pound of carrots. All right, next is a bag of mandarins. So it is organic cuties, which our local Aldi doesn't carry these. I went to a different Aldi, so I was really excited to see that they had way more organic produce. And so I got this. This is two pounds, and it was $3.79. And honestly, you guys, a lot of the organic produce at Aldi is not much different 
from the conventional as far as pricing goes. Like we're talking 50 cents maybe different. And so I'm like, for that, I'm gonna go with the organic when it was feasible. So again, $3.79 for a two pound bag of those. Next is a bag of organic yellow little potatoes. So again, my Aldi doesn't carry these. This was a 24 ounce bag of honey gold bite sized potatoes. And this was $3.59. So just the, you know, little bite-sized potatoes. They're great for summer, great to go with steaks or grilled chicken. Um, organic raspberries. These were kind of expensive, which is why I only bought one. Um, so this was $3.69. That is not a good deal, but we do love raspberries. And I just wanted some raspberries, so I bought them anyways. So $3.69, again, not a great deal. Kind of expensive, but I wanted them. Okay, next is organic grape tomatoes. This is, hmm, oh, a pint. So a pint of them for $2.39. This was one of those things that like regular cherry tomatoes there or grape tomatoes, whatever. Not much different in price than the organic. So I grabbed those. Organic and mini cucumbers, a little bag of them. Um, this was $2.99. And as I'm going down my receipt, I realized that the total I gave you is actually long. Um, the next item on my receipt is a sleeping bag for $12.99, so $13. That is actually not for me. I picked it up for my daughter's friend family. They were looking for another sleeping bag. I had bought one recently, if you saw one of my other videos from Aldi. Um, for $19.99, that is a little warmer one. This was like a um, warm weather sleeping bag, but they just needed one for camping. So I text her and I said they have this for $13. So if you take away $13, I actually spent about $63, um, I'm sorry, what did I say $13? $66 at Aldi. So I kind of forgot about that. Anyways, I'm telling you the individual pricing. Okay, and then two more things. We got a loaf of their honey wheat bread. This is not the ideal bread to eat, um, but my son is autistic, very picky about his bread, and he will eat this and Sarah Lee. So this is what I buy for him. This was a dollar seventy-five for the loaf. I do appreciate um, they don't use any artificial colors or things like that. No high fructose corn syrup. Still, it isn't perfect. But if you've ever um, lived with or cared for someone with autism, sometimes you just make compromises. And then the final thing that I got, I got two dozen of them, and I'm just going to grab one, is their pasture-raised um, grade A piece of raspberry fell out. Um, just the brown eggs. These are $4.45 for a dozen. So, that's everything that I got at Aldi. I am going to take care of putting this away, especially because it's had in my car for a little while while I went into fresh time. I'm gonna set up fresh time and I'll come back and I am going to show you that next, so stay tuned. Okay, I've got everything I got at fresh time out. Um, grand totals at fresh time, I have two receipts. One was from the liquor store and one was from the regular part of the grocery store. Um, $149.56 and $32.94. I am going to go through the cold stuff first because as I said before, it was in the car for a little while and I wanna get that cold stuff put away. So it might take me a minute because I'm kind of going through my receipt kind of weird, but let's jump into, did I say fresh time? I don't remember fresh time. I might have said Whole Foods. I don't know what I said, but it's fresh time. Okay, let's jump into it. So let's see, I wanna get, like I said, some of this cold stuff put away. So I'm gonna grab my chicken first. This is organic, boneless, skinless chicken, and it is from Farmer Focus brand. It was $3.15, and it is two and a half pounds. It was $5.24 per pound. It just comes in like the little vacuum sealed bags. I love Farmer Focus. It is my favorite chicken. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop Put this right into my freezer honestly if we had more in the budget I probably would have got more but that is fine so that is one of the cold things um, the next that I make I want to make sure I get put away is if you've watched my 
Fresh Time hauls, you know that I always pick up a sushi for my husband for him to eat the next day. $13.99. Is it a splurge? Absolutely. But he is 100% worth it. And he works really hard for our family. And it's actually his birthday today. Um, so $13.99 for the sushi. And he'll bring that for his lunch tomorrow. Typically he packs lunch. He brings whatever. We have leftovers or a sandwich. But he deserves every penny of that $13.99 spent on him. Okay, so that. And then um, another thing that he likes is this like imitation crab. So this one is actually simply surimi. I don't even know how to say it. Um, this is from a Wild Alaskan Polak, however you say it, and natural ingredients. Is it 100% clean? No, but he likes it. So um, let's see how much this one is. Sorry, like I said, I would like to go in order. $3.99, it had a dollar off. Um, sale on that. So that's a great thing. Then he can pack that as a cold sandwich for work one day. Then next is, oh, they do have it broken down for me by dairy and stuff. Sweet. Okay. Is some of the Alexandre, I think is how you say it, family farm, 100% grass fed, A2A to organic, plain yogurt, cream top, extra cream top, certified regenerative. That is a mouthful. A thing of that and let's see this was four dollars and 79 cents this is not the yogurt that we normally get but this is a good yogurt so that works we use that in our smoothies then next is an almond milk we love the almond milk this is the vanilla one this one is five dollars and 99 cents that's the normal price we like it because the ingredients are very clean. It is filtered water, organic almonds, pure organic vanilla extract made from vanilla beans and Himalayan pink salt. So super clean. We use almond milk in our smoothies and my daughter actually likes it sometimes just to have as a drink, even though we are a dairy family. Next is a Three Trees vanilla bean almond milk. This one is normally, I believe it was $7.99. It was on sale for $5.99. We do like this one as well, so I'll get both of them. Typically, the almond milk is cheaper. Um, but since this was on sale for the same price, I went ahead and picked up one of these as well. They both last for quite a while in the fridge. This is good until October. So this only lasts through one or two smoothies. So we'll go through that in no time. And then, I think this is the last of the things that I need to make sure I get put away just because, again, dairy and meat products. So, Kelowna Supernatural is our go-to for dairy products. In fact, they actually just sent me some coupons. I did not use it today. I didn't even bring it with me. Um, I actually wasn't going to get this from there because it's so much more expensive at Fresh Time than it is at Whole Foods. But they didn't have the one I was going to get. So, we tried to get non-homogenized milk and low-temp vat pasteurized. So that is what Kelowna's is. There is a local company that also does something similar, although it is not organic milk. But I do buy that because it's $4.99 for a half gallon versus $7 and, what is it, 49 cents, I think. Let me find it. Where is my dairy? Um, $7.49, yep. So I can get a gallon of it for $9.99 at Whole Foods, a half gallon for $7.49, which is like, ridiculous because a half gallon of it at $9.99 would be like five, you know, four fifty. So it's a good deal there, but not for this. But like I said, they didn't have the other one. And so this is important for me that we get the non-homogenized milk. And I love Kelowna Supernatural, but like I said, the other one's cheaper, but we do pay a $2 bottle fee on the other one that we get back when we return the bottle, but you should see my pile in my garage. So I'm not very good at returning the bottles. I eventually will, and then I'll go in and I'll have like $40 in bottles, which is fine. Um, but anyways, so $7.49, not a great deal for this. Kelowna Supernatural is worth every penny, but it is so much cheaper to get it at Whole Foods. That's typically where I get my yogurt too, and I get the same brand. So that is my dairy and my meat. I ooh, apologize. Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to put this stuff away, and then I'll come back and show you the rest of what I got. All right, let's get back to the rest of the haul. Now I'm just going to go down the list, see if I can keep it straight. So, from the bakery section, I got the Silver Hills Sprouted Power Little Big Bread. 
This is one of the breads that we will use. It is a very clean store-bought bread. It is a little dry, so it's great for grilled sandwiches or um, making it for like a French toast or toasting. As a sandwich, it is a little bit dry. Um, so $6.99 for that. I do make homemade bread, but we are just not in the season of me having the time to make a loaf of bread like every day. So, okay, next is um, these Sprouted Brothers Nuts. These are so good. They are a crackled cheesy almond. They are um, organic and they don't use any seed oils. So it is organic sprouted almonds, organic cold pressed olive oil, nutritional yeast, organic garlic, sea salt, and organic black pepper. They are delicious. This is $4.99. Such a good snack. Love it. All right, next, I went through all of the dairy. Okay, next we're on to pickles. And both jars were $3.99. So I have been trying to find a clean or pickle that are not fermented. My kids won't eat fermented. You guys see my cute dog? Um, so I saw these ones. They are Simply Pickles by Mount Olive. These are kosher baby dills and these are hamburgers. So they don't have any um, dyes at least. I don't know that they're 100%. They're not organic. Um, but better than nothing, $3.99 for those each. And then these were expensive, so that's why I only got two of them. But my daughter loves cold things for snacks, loves them. And I saw these DB's Organic Italian Ice. So they are shelf stable, and then you freeze them. I've been able to get like the little tubes of, like the popsicle tubes that they sell. Um, but there's no refined sugars. This one is um, a raspberry, and this one's a berry grape. And the ingredients are very clean. Um, and I don't know, they are manufactured in Italy. So these were $3.99 for a two pack. So it's basically $2. But if we were getting something from the ice cream truck, we would spend more than $2. So this is a great alternative, no artificial dyes or things like that. So $3.99 for each of those. If you've had those, let me know. I've never seen them before. Sometimes then like Costco will get something like that in bulk. And so hopefully if they're good, Costco will maybe get them. All right, next is strawberry lemonade. And I got three of these. So these were, um, a dollar fifty off. They were a dollar ninety nine. They're the Santa Cruz Organic brand. They are strawberry lemonade. My son loves this, and honestly, for a dollar ninety nine for a good quality strawberry lemonade is a great deal. I do make lemonade often, and I use actually the Santa Cruz lemon juice that they have. But I mean, this is really pretty clean. I don't have to make it. So a dollar ninety nine for each of these. They do come in a glass bottle. All right, and then, that's so funny. They have meat. I got my dogs these things and they're listed under the meat category. I guess they're technically meat, but I would have no, I would have thought they maybe be under pet. Anyways, um, they have these made in the USA Butcher Prime roasted beef lung tips. So that's the only ingredient is roasted beef lung. They are repulsive looking, but dogs love them. Um, and we give our dogs beef liver and it's freeze-dried beef liver and freeze-dried salmon. We are trying to stick with single ingredient treats as we work through some allergies with our one, our, not the one you saw, he's a doodle and he so far does well with whatever, but we have a German short hair pointer lab mix and he, in the last two years, allergies have gotten out of control and we are trying to narrow down what it is. So we are trying to single ingredient treats as well as a um, seafood based food before we go to the very expensive um, like prescription hydrolyzed foods. So we're trying to not do chicken right now, see if that helps. Um, and then these are crunchy tubes, which is a beef trachea. So they actually break down pretty easy and it's not like rawhide or something like that. The dogs can digest this 100%. 
um, fully digestible and I don't know what the dogs like them. And let's see, they're both $4.49. Okay, I did my chicken. This next thing I'm excited about, it is kumquats. So I've never had a kumquat before. My understanding is you eat the entire thing, outside and all. And so these were normally $6.99, but they had a dollar off coupon sticker on them. And I don't know if it's because they thought they were maybe starting to get close to their end of life, but they look good to me. So I was like, well, if I want to try a kumquat, this would probably be the time to do it. So $5.99. If you've had a kumquat, tell me below, how do they taste? Do you just, I think you just pop the whole thing in your mouth, which is weird to me because it's kind of citrus. And so eating the outside of a citrus, I don't know, but we'll give them a try. That's what I love about Fresh Time is they have other fruits that you can't find other places, so it's fun to get to try different things. Next is some organic blueberries. They were on sale for $3.99. They were normally $4.99, the normal size container. Um, again, organic. I didn't think that was a bad price. Now, I contemplated getting the conventional versus the organic. There was a fair amount of price difference, but for the small amount I buy, I decided to go with the organic. It's cherries. They had conventional ones that were $4.99 a pound and the organic ones were $7.99 a pound. Like I said, that $3 difference is a big difference, but when you're not buying that many pounds of them, I figured it was worth it to go ahead and get the organic ones. Um, so this was 1.28 pounds, so $10.23. So yes, I paid more. I, I know that. Um, but like I said, when I can, it is important to me to get organic, but I don't stress it. So if I had gotten the conventional ones, which I did last week at Aldi, I got conventional cherries and you know what, my family ate them and they're fine. So don't stress it. Next is some organic medjool dates. So I wanna to try to make a date caramel. And these were $7.99 for a 12 ounce package. Uh, next is a pouch of organic parsley. This is 0.3 ounces, just some organic dried parsley. I am running low. I'm pretty sure I have some in my next Azure order, so not the one that comes next week, but the one that will come in July. I have some parsley, but we go through a fair amount of parsley, so I wanted to get another package for now to hold us over. Um, did I say how much the parsley was? I don't think I did. $2.49. Okay, next is some organic grapes. So again, one of those things that I kind of went uh, between the two and there wasn't much price difference between them. So organic grapes, they were $3.99 a pound. This is 1.5 pounds, so $5.99 for organic, purple, red, whatever you want to call them, grapes. Then we've got two different kinds of lettuce. This is Minnesota grown lettuce. I actually can get a big thing at Costco for a really good price, but again, not going to Costco. Organic spring mix grown in Minnesota, and this one, what is this? Four ounces, um, and this one was on sale for $2.99 and is normally $3.99, if I remember correctly. Yes, I got that. Then we also got this sweet butter mix. This one's not organic, but they do use no pesticides or herbicides. This one is sweet butter. This was $3.49 and it's also um, four ounces. So I think I can get a whole 16 ounce one of the, um, like the spring mix for $5.99 if I am thinking correctly. But again, not at Costco. Then they had, um, this is not organic. I wish it was, but I've never found organic corn in the cup in my area. So this is non-GMO corn. Um, I got four ears and it was $2 to 50 cents an ear, which four ears is plenty. I just break them in half and people tend to eat less. Works. Okay, I think that's it for the grocery part. Then the, oh, I missed the chips. There we go. The chips, the Boulder Canyon brand has avocado oil chips, which I so appreciate that they use either avocado or olive oil. They do have some with sunflower oil. 
so you need to read the labels, but some of them are avocado oil. These were $3.99, and they were $0.30 cents off, so not much of a savings, but it's chip season, it's summer. Okay, then on to the liquor store. So as I said before, it's my husband's birthday, so I picked up two things of beer for him. Are they expensive? Yep, mm -hmm. but again, he's worth every penny, and it's his birthday. So the first one I got is... So these are Minnesota companies, both of them are Minnesota breweries. Um, Clown Shoes Space Cake Double IPA. This was $11.99. Do not fall over when I tell you this next one. <laughs> okay, this one is Pink Pineapple Imperial Sour and $17.99. Alcohol is so expensive, but this is my birthday gift to him because he wouldn't buy them for himself, and he does like beers like that. So, uh, $32.94 in the liquor store, and a $149.56 um, in the grocery store. So I'm gonna put away all this cold stuff, then we're gonna do the Thrive order, and then we're done. Thank you for holding on with me. I know this one's a little long. I wasn't gonna do them all together, but I just thought that's just easier for me. I can upload one video. Um, and get this Thrive box that's been sitting still sealed on my floor for days. Get that taken care of and just do the Thrive order in this one too. So I will come right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. And box my Thrive order. This is small. Should go pretty quick. Um, let me just jump into it. But real quick, remember that if you want to save 40% off of your first purchase with Thrive, Use my referral link and you can get 40% off. I can't remember up to a certain amount, but that's what I did on my first order and I saved a lot, a lot of money. Now, I will wait until Thrive sends me a thing saying, oh, this and this is on sale or this is the free item right now and I will order when something is of what we need. Um, I won't just order anything. So these things were either on sale um, or I needed them and the free item was worth like buying it now. So. Let's jump into it. So the first thing um, that we got is the, this is what we got for free. So it's Murphy's Natural Mosquito Repellent. This is a balm. And this is a spray, a eucalyptus spray. So repels mosquitoes that may carry Zika virus, West Nile, and Den Green, Den however you say the virus. Um, so they're supposed to be cleaner, more natural. I'm sure you're still not supposed to like eat them or anything like that, but these were free. So I got those. We are in like mosquito, it's awful. I've never, I think in my entire life can remember mosquitoes this bad in Minnesota. All right, next up are my sweet nothings. So I got two of these, they're $1.79 a piece. They are both the chocolate peanut butter. They are like little date bites super yummy. I got one of them for free one time and now I'm hooked. So their free items sometimes get you hooked. So just be careful of that. So $1.79 for each package. They're great. I can throw them in my purse and have a quick little snack. Then I got some bentonite clay. So this had real good reviews. It's a natural, natural mineral cleanse pores and detoxify skin. So this is $4.04 and it is 16 ounces, so it's one pound. Um, so you mix the clay with equal parts warm water for sensitive skin or equal parts apple cider vinegar for a more intense mask. Apply a smooth layer to the face or other areas and let dry for 15 minutes. Should not be used with metal bowls or utensils two to three times a week. Um, and it is a product of the USA and um, anyways, it says you can use it for foot soaks and face and body masks. If you've used this before, let me know. I was intrigued by the foot soaks. I have very dry feet. I use like one of the foot files, but summer hits and it's like my feet turn into sandpaper. I think it's because I'm never wearing socks or shoes. But I think this FAE brand is the Thrive brand. So 404 for that. Then I decided to give these a try. It is their shampoo and conditioner. It was $12.58 for the set. They are 16 ounces. I got the Bulgarian Lavender. I didn't even smell it. Oh, it has a safety seal, I bet. It does, so I'll have to smell it later. 
Um, the ingredient list looked relatively short, relatively clean, so I thought we would give them a try. They had mixed reviews, but for $12.58, I thought we'd give it a try. And then steak sauce was next. The last time we had steaks, we realized we didn't have steak sauce, and I knew that when we were out of the one we had, I wanted to replace it with something a little bit better. So this is the Primal Kitchen Organic Steak Sauce. So whether or not my husband will like it is to be determined. I don't really eat steak sauce. I will sometimes throw it in Sloppy Joe's, and then it might be in something like a recipe. $4.04 for the steak sauce. And I totally forgot I got pickles. <laughs> Should have ordered, I should have opened my dry box. That's okay, we'll go through them. So these are Woodstock brand, and they are a sliced organic kosher dill pickle. So they look pretty good. There's a lot of garlic at the bottom. They were $5.99 for a 24 ounce glass jar. So we'll give them a try. We also have those other ones I got in the, um, from first time. <laughs> what I was talking about there. Okay, cookies. These are next. So I got three boxes of these because when you ordered three, you got Thrive Cash back. And so these are the almond flour cookies from um, Simple Mills. They're amazing, you guys. We were at one box, which granted they're not a very big box, to the beach and we ate the whole thing. They're $4.74 a box at Fresh Time today. I think they were $6.99 or $5.99 a box. $4.74 is a lot cheaper plus I got Thrive Cash back because I bought three of them. They're so good. Then I got these Rice Krispie Treats. So again I bought three boxes because I imagine if, if I bought three it's because there was cash back or Thrive Cash back and so if I'm going to buy them anyways just buy three now. Uh, $3.20 a piece. They're the Annie's Organic Rice Krispie Treats. No I don't think Annie's is perfect but it beats just the conventional ones. At least they're organic. And then the final thing that we got are three bags of the avocado potato chip smoky barbecue. So again, avocado oil, these are their brand. This is a smaller bag, 4.2 ounces, so not real big. So again, this is something we'll bring to the beach. Eat the whole bag, but they're only $2.34 for the bag, so it wasn't a bad deal. I had like, $6 in Thrive Cash and I had like a $17 gift card to use. So in total, I paid out of my pocket $41.52 for what I got, but keeping in mind that I had Thrive Cash to use and a gift card to use. Um, but typically when you spend $50, um, they'll often have a free item, but you always get free shipping if you spend $50 or more, which is not a problem for me. I just continue to add to my cart until I hit the $50 and then I ship it and then I start a new cart and that way I can keep adding and taking away and then if there is a good free item I can make sure I check out in that time frame. So today I think they've got chomps for 20% off at least so I actually think I'm going to go in and order some of those because those beef sticks are really good. So that's everything. That's all my hauls for today. I am tired. That was a lot of grocery shopping and hauls to do in one video but I did it. So if you stuck around this long, thank you. If you like grocery hauls, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you hit the thumbs up, it's great because then it shows more people my videos. I do intend on someday getting back to making cooking videos. It's just buying a camera stand is just not on a priority right now. Um, and so they're expensive. And so it's just not something that I'm buying right now. So cooking videos are a little more difficult. But you can also find me on Instagram, her hearts at home, her period hearts, period at home. Her, there's a period between all of them. <laughs> so I'm tired. Come find me on Instagram because then you can see what I cook on a daily basis on there. Um, and you can see how I use all of these groceries because like it's so much easier to pop on and just do a story, you know, versus making a whole video and editing and loading and all those things. So if you want a little more content, a little more frequently, then join me on Instagram. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember that Jesus loves you and I am so glad that you are here. Have a blessed rest of your Sunday. See you next time.